Good vibes, good tunes, good times. Whenever you are hanging with E. Live from Brooklyn, New York. Um, you know, uh, been grinding forever. You know, definitely starting to uh, appreciate it and, and reap some of the fruits of the labor. A lot of people might uh, know me from the Project Daily Conversation, uh, the joints with DJ Premier and my man Sky Zoo, um, or the Ninth Wonder album on my affiliation with the Justice League, so on and so forth. And the new album on Duck Down Records, Marco Polo and Torrey Double Barrel. I mean, I've been as crazy, as funny, as cliche as it sounds. I've been, um, I've been rhyming since I was a little kid. You know what I'm saying? Like I wrote my first rhyme when LL had Boom and System out. You know what I mean? Like I wrote my first rhyme to that beat. So I've been rhyming since I was a little kid. Um, and and kind of pursuing it. You know, like I used to do the shop the demo tape thing, and you know I had um, a little history with Bad Boy. Had a little history with the Diplomats. Um, as far as you know, I had shop the demo to Bad Boy. And um, one of the uh, one of the executives from the company had hit me back and um, ended up appearing on one of his projects that he had put out, an um, unsigned artist compilation. Um, you know, a lot, a, nothing really came out of that, but that was the first time I was ever out like on wax and on cassette. And, and you know, a lot of people heard about me from there. Um, from then, you know, I started getting a little minor spins like with Red Alert and, and certain mix shows in the city. Uh-huh. Um, hooked up with Cam and them when I was um, working on the. Uh, my hood video if you look into my hood video came from the sde album you'll see me in there hooked up with cam and them ran with the dips for a few years um you know when cam was working on his second project and, and just running around with them and, and really getting my feet wet in the business and learning the ins and out of being an artist and then um finally in 2006 i left my job you know what i'm saying to pursue music full time and in that first year, I, I took a, a year off, like from work. I took a, uh, like a leave of absence for a year, and I was like, I'm gonna see how far I get in this year. You know what I'm saying? With all the connects and all the grinding, and and if I'm really as good as I feel like I am, um, I took that year off, and then within that year, I went on tour twice. I had recorded the two joints for Premiere, and I had a um a deal on the table with Fat Beat. So, I- but that's the whole era that inspired me to make music. You know what I'm saying? Like. Just, just, just everything that that was in the '90s, just the the music and the feel and, and the way it made you feel. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? Like that's what inspired me. So people were like, yeah, Yo, you trying to bring it back? And I'm like, nah, I'm not bringing nothing back. You know, it's 2009. We can't go backwards. Right, but right. what we can do is, is pay homage to that era and, and pay homage to the artists that you know what I'm saying that that inspired me to make music. Like I make music because I used to listen to Boot Camp Click. I make music. Cause I used to listen to, you know, MOP. I make music because I used to listen to Coogee Rat and still do. You know what I'm saying? Like, so of course my music, my, my influence is gonna influence my music. It's just, exactly. I mean, it's basic common sense. So, you know, and, and I'm, again, I'm fortunate and blessed to work with the people I work with. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the guests on the album who appeared, you know what I'm saying? The show Love. And like, those are my people. So it's just dope. It's dope to have records with them, but it's dope to have a, you know, a friendship and a personal relationship with everybody. So that's what it is, man. I feel good. Yeah, I feel good. Yeah, I feel good. Thank you. 